Little Squirrel and the Seed of Magic Chapter 1. The Ends of the Earth My little squirrel, why are you crying? Dear Grandmother, my best friend is missing. The day before, they were playing hide-and-seek. He was hiding at first. Then, he went missing. I must find him. He might be lost, or worse, in danger. But how will you find him? Do you know where he is? Little Squirrel had no idea. I will look for him everywhere, as far as the ends of the earth. Surely he must be out there somewhere. Little Squirrel left home the next day. Have you seen my friend? She asked everyone she met. No, we haven't. So she kept going. Days went by. Little Squirrel slept under the stars. Give up and go home, Little Squirrel, they said. But she kept going. More days went by. Little Squirrel ate only wild berries. Give up and go home, Little Squirrel, they said. But she kept going. Many days went by. Little Squirrel was lost. There was still no sign of her friend, but she still kept going. Finally, Little Squirrel reached the ends of the earth, but her friend was not there. Instead, a snake appeared. What are you doing here, Little Squirrel? I am looking for my missing friend. He is not here. Who are you? Why are you here? I am the timekeeper at the ends of the earth. Dear Mr. Timekeeper, do you know where my friend is? He is somewhere, lost in time. He is lost. Hmm. I must find him and bring him back. No, you can't. No one can. Little Squirrel was very sad. The snake felt bad. Maybe there is a way. You will need to find the seed of magic. Only the seed of magic can bring him back. Where can I find the seed of magic then? It is hidden on top of the mountain of illusions. The journey will be full of dangers. Are you sure you want to go? Little Squirrel was not afraid. Yes, I will. Please, tell me how I can get there. Follow your heart, Little Squirrel. There is no map to the mountain, no fixed path. Just follow your heart, and you will find your own way there.